Well, hello, hello. How's my favorite person? <laughs> Should that just always be my intro? It's what I naturally say. Don't know why. I just feel like you're one of my favorite people. <laughs> I am walking to go meet up with one of my girlfriends. We're meeting up to have a little drink, enjoy a little time together. Um, it's a really pretty day. Really, really pretty day out. Not too warm, not too cold, nice and comfy. So I like that. Um, we are going to a new place I've never been, which is nice. It's a pretty good walk away from where I live, but I like that. Something different to do, you know? Um, it'd be so easy to just drive everywhere, but I might as well walk and get my exercise. So, another one of those tips I talked to y'all about, um, where if you're looking to lose weight, all those steps really matter. And I know it, you gotta leave earlier. Um, it makes you more tired. But, it also, in the long run, gives you energy. Because exercising gives you energy. And in the long run, it builds muscle, makes you healthier, and it makes it where you live longer. So, you know, um, a couple years ago, if you would have told me, you know, oh, why don't you just walk a mile to go meet your friend? I'd be like, oh, why don't I just drive? <laughs> But now, knowing what I do and feeling the way I do, I'd rather just walk. <laughs> so, something to think about. And it does change you, your perspective on things changes. As your weight changes, your perspective changes. So, yeah. Trying to think about what else is going on today. I've had a really good day. This is actually my second long walk for the day. Another one of my girlfriends I got together with. And um, one of our things we do when we get together is we take long walks. So another one of my girlfriends, we went for a nice long walk today. And walked the dog. Um, this time I'm not walking the dog. Which I actually was looking on this place's website right before I left and it says they do let dogs come so I considered bringing mine but then I ended up deciding against it I figured well don't want to like spring it on her because she has dogs too so like I would hate for her to show up and be like, oh, why didn't you say that we're bringing the dogs, you know? <laughs> so, I figured I'll just go this time without it. And then if we like the place, then we can go again with the dogs. <laughs> and my dog hasn't met her dog yet. Um, so, you know, don't want any awkward uh, greetings or anything like that. <laughs> Always try hard to think about the other person in those situations and what their perspective on it would be and like I don't know just their viewpoint I try to do that in every situation in life think hard about other people's viewpoints and how they might consider the things I do all right so I'm trying to think about the quickest way to get where I need to go so, I think we're going to go up this way is what we're going to do. So, yeah, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to think about the best way to go where I need to go. I don't really like walking on the really busy roads just because less chance of me getting hit if I'm on the ones where <laughs> there's not a lot of people. <laughs> And we all know I've been hit by a car before and it does not feel good. <laughs> really don't want to have to go through that if I don't have to again. <laughs> it 
and I also try to be a responsible citizen and go across the crosswalks when possible, like I'm about to do. Especially if there's, you know, cars around a lot. Push the button, let everybody know I'm coming across. There we go. Easy peasy to be a responsible citizen, huh? Guess we might as well. You know, I had someone say something to me the other day that really, I don't know, these subjects have been coming up lately and it really makes me want to tell my stories even more. So, the girl at the place I work out was telling me that some of the other people were talking about me, not in a bad way, just discussing me, and were calling me like Miss per Perfect and like Miss Barbie doll and stuff like that. And granted, this is not in a bad way. They were just talking about how, oh, if I had her body, I'd wear whatever I want, or if I had her body, I'd feel so perfect. And it just goes to show how we have no clue about other people's shoes, you know? Like, what it's like to be in their mind and to be in their shoes. Um, and also, uh, I was at the store the other day, and I was, was I told y'all, you know, it's one of the stores I was at, like the Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and um, a girl said something about, oh, if I had your body, I'd wear whatever I want. And that just clicked in my brain that, oh yeah, these people have no clue about my story or about what it took for me to get here and get to where I am. Yes, they see this person I am now, you know, 120 pounds, but they don't realize this person was 200 pounds a couple years ago. So I've really been inspired lately to tell my story even more because I don't want people to see me and think oh her whole life's together you know everything's perfect in her life because god it's far from not you know <laughs> and or it's far from it whatever and there's just so much of a story I have to tell but I think it's important to tell it so I'm about to be on the crowded road for a bit so I'm gonna pay attention to my surroundings. And I also, I'm still kind of shy about filming. So <laughs> I just wanted to say hi to y'all and just chat with you for a minute. But I might make a video on my way back so you can keep me company or I might not, we'll see. Either way, I love you. Hello, hello, darling. So it's a lot chillier than it was when I talked to you earlier, <laughs> but if you're getting this on the same day I made the video earlier, um, earlier I was walking to go meet a girlfriend of mine. Sun was shining, it was nice and warm, or like, I don't know, like 50 something, high 40 something, I don't know, something like that. But now, sun's gone down and it's chilly. So, I decided I was going to make a video talking to you on the way home because you occupy me and make it where I don't feel the cold as much. <laughs> so, you can keep me company while I'm walking home. Plus, I have an idea. So, y'all know I was talking to you about my assistant starting tomorrow. And I've just been kind of mulling over in my brain how I want to do this. Because, yes, she's starting tomorrow. And I have so much that needs to be done. But during this time, while we're kind of getting my life organized I'm training her all that stuff I still have to keep making content because I have to keep making bills you know just because I'm busy training her doesn't mean that I get to quit making content during that time and money keeps coming in I have to keep on working in order to pay her so what I was thinking is during the next week or two while I'm um, bringing her in, we're kind of getting life organized, getting things under control, 
I can use that to make content. Like, you know, I can show y'all the, like, maybe the way I'm organizing stuff or I can kind of show you, okay, things were chaotic. So what they look like chaotic compared to what they look like nice and pretty and organized. Um, maybe show you the difference between like the bigger clothes I used to wear compared to the smaller ones. And I don't know, maybe that might be a little bit interesting. I don't know, but I figure I see people do it all the time, like show um, organizing the pantry or organizing the stuff. So I thought we could do that. That would be a little bit of content I could give you. And then I'll even give you more of a look into my life, you know, different sides of me and see what kind of food I like to eat or I don't know what my dishes look like or who knows, you know, just see more of a look into my life. Um, and then, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I don't get squished here. And then once we get kind of the apartment organized, um, I want to move to organizing my storage. Well, my storage is a lot of like the lingerie I've already worn for my photo shoots or um, some of my clothes that were from when I was bigger. So um, I have a couple girls that I know that want to look through my clothing and see what they want to buy. But then once I'm done with that, I thought maybe I could list some clothes, like some of the nicer ones online for people to buy if they wanted to. And then I was thinking, I could list my used lingerie for you to buy if you want. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Now, I already do wear people buy like my used undies and my used socks and stuff like that. Um, but I could also do the lingerie. So all the different lingerie I'll be posting if, um, you know, you think you'd be interested in purchasing it is all stuff I've made content with that I've already used. So like if you want to purchase the lingerie, you could do that. And maybe like, um, if you include your email or something, I could include, uh, some pictures of me in it or like one of the videos I've made in it, that kind of thing. So let me know if that's something you're interested in because I could definitely do that. Um, so once I have the apartment organized, move on to organizing the storage, then she's going to start helping me on my socials. And that's when I'll move into going back to my regular kind of content. So let me know what you think about that. If you think those are good ideas or those things you'd be interested in watching. Um, yeah, and I guess depending on when this video comes out, that content might be out and you might be seeing if you like it. <laughs> so let me know if you're interested in buying those used items. And if so, like what website would you want to buy them on? Would you want to buy them on like eBay? Should I just post them on my website? What do you think? All right, darling, time for me to get off here because I'm almost home. But it was good talking to you. Love you, sweet pea.